All right, guys, we're gonna go back into our stage one upgrade series. I did one explaining the overall, what was needed for stage one, the air cleaner, the exhaust, and a tune. I have a few videos out already for exhaust. I'm gonna put a card right up here for those. I got one that's just generic overview of what's the difference between a stock, a slip-on, and a full system. And then I actually have one for a review on the short shot staggers, which I have on my bike now. And I will leave that card up there also. So let's take a look at air cleaners. Here we have our stock one. Here we have a Kyriakin hypercharger. And here is just the filter element itself for a VO2 Vance and Heinz naked. This is what I have on my bike now. So let's take a look. So if we take a look at this stock air filter, you can see there's not much surface area there. It's very minimal compared to the Vance and Heinz. I mean, almost, I would say double, if not a little bit more surface area. And also, when you look at the actual element, this, this part is what mounts on the bike, on the throttle body here. And then this element fits in here like this. And you just have one area here for air. Your air blows in through there, circulates around, and then goes in the motor. So it really is a, a starved design, if you will. It just doesn't give you the airflow that, that you need to properly you know, run your bike and to get a good tune on it. This Kyriakin model, on the other hand, it's real hard to get apart, but you can see the, the element through here and through the front, hopefully. But what this model does, it sets on the motor just like this. But the cool thing about this, it has these flaps that activate with the throttle, which is pretty cool. But this one has kind of the same style air filter as this. It is a little thicker. It's probably about a half an inch thicker than this. And this one is rated up to 90 horsepower. So that'll give you what they consider a high flow air filter up to 90 horsepower. So this is a pretty good option. It is a a bear to install though. It's not very easy to install because you have to put a airlock between the manifold and the uh, throttle body in order to get a check valve or an air valve to hook up to get these flaps to work. So it's a little bit involved in ins installation, but not too bad. The Vance and Hines, this is my favorite. This is the VO2 Naked. It's a great air filter. It's a uh, on the same lines of your Arlen Ness Big Sucker. It's almost, I'm not gonna say identical because they're not, but they're made basically the same. So you're gonna get close to the same amount of performance. The thing you gotta remember is when you install these on your bike, only so much air can go into the motor unless you start modifying your manifold, your heads, and things like that. Only so much air can get in. The VO2 Naked does a great job. The Arlen S Big Sucker does a great job of getting you in excess of air. There's more air than the engine can take in. So you're never gonna be starved for air when you're running a high flow air filter like this. With something like this, depending on your horsepower, if you start modifying your bike and you get up above 90 horsepower, you're gonna be starved for air. Where something along in these lines, not so much. It just gives you all the airflow you could possibly need in order to, you know, get that stage one done. You know, you mix this with a good, good full system exhaust and a good tune, your bike's going to be running great. So let's go take a look at my bike and we'll see what the actual VO2 Naked looks like installed. This is the actual Vance and Hines VO2 Naked High Flow Air Cleaner. As you can see, it just consists of a plate, their Venturi here, and your blowback tubes here, which blows back uh, excess oil in the heads, blows it back into the throttle body so it can get recycled in the engine. And here is your stock plate. So if I was to stick that over there, you can kind of see how restricted this is because the air can only come in through the bottom here and circulates and then goes into that thin paper filter where this one is completely open and you have this 
massive air air filter that mounts over that gets 360 air all the way around so you're getting airflow from all directions and it's being sucked right into the throttle body there so that gives you your high flow that gives you the the amount of air that you need in this engine with a set of pipes and a tune to pull off that stage one upgrade i'm going to leave links for this one this is by far my favorite one that i've had the Arlen Nest Big Sucker is also a great choice. I'll leave a link for that one too. But I'll leave links for both of these in the description below. These are both good choices if you're thinking about doing the Stage 1 upgrade. Your other option is you can keep this in place. Keep your stock stuff in place just like that. And you can go down to Harley Dealer. You can get on Amazon. And this is your stock element. But you can replace it with a Screaming Eagle. Which is going to give you a little bit bigger. It's going to give you more surface area and it's gonna give you the airflow that you need. That would be on the cheap. Other than that, this VO2, the Arlen Nest Big Sucker, are both around the $150 mark, give or take a little, but that's gonna give you a much better design, a much more airflow than your stock unit can do, and it's gonna like future-proof you if you do start doing some upgrading to the, to the motor and start really bumping up that horsepower. These air cleaners here will future-proof it, so it's always going to give you all the air that you need down the road. The other ones, you can see a bunch from Vance and Hines. You can see some from Roland Sands. Uh, everybody makes a high-flow air cleaner out there, and some of them are three, dollars $400. Basically, what you're getting is aesthetics. So if you're look, looking for a certain look or an aesthetic appeal of something, then you're going to pay that higher money. For me, the Vance and Hines did great because what I do is I just use my stock cover, cover it up like this. I kind of like keeping the bike, you know, I want to make it my own, but I also like some of the stock elements and I really like the round bobber style air cleaner cover. So that was one of the reasons I went with this. But like I said, in the higher money, basically what you're getting is aesthetics. You're really not getting any more airflow, especially at a stock level of a stock 883 or a stock 1200 all these are going to give you ample amount of air they're fairly easy installs they're really not hard it's just a matter of you know four or five bolts and you know lock tying they all come with directions with torque values and things like that they're very easy now the curiok and like i said it's a little tougher install unless you're comfortable with like because you got to pull your fuel injectors out and a few other things and unless you're comfortable doing that it, i'm not going to say hard but it's a little more involved so, but these things here, I mean, 15, 20 minutes and you're good to go. Just with your basic tools in your garage. There's really nothing special needed besides torque wrenches and some blue Loctite. So there it is, guys. There's my two cents on high flow air cleaners for your stage one upgrade. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. There should be a little button right down here in the lower right hand corner. It's going to get you all hooked up. Other than that, guys, ride safe and be careful out there. Later.